Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be taking a look at Hellfire's inventory. So this guy is named First Draw in my Discord and he wanted to have his inventory analyzed uh, so that he could actually be in one of these videos. So guys, this series is actually going to just be me going to some of my subscribers' profiles on Steam. Uh, if you want to, you know, request and be in one of these videos, you can do that. Just go in the comment section below and let me know and give me a link to your Steam profile. Tell me what it's worth and what you want me to look at and stuff like that and I will be analyzing it in a future video for this series. Uh, I don't know how long the series is going to go on for. It'll probably be just a nice way to put down like filler content when I don't have like much else to do. So uh, basically what I'm going to be doing in this series is going to my subscribers inventories and looking at each skin that they have and talking about like what investment potential their inventory has as a whole and what investment potential that their skins specifically have. So guys I hope that you enjoy this series and let's get straight into this one right now. So let's go straight to his inventory and let's begin First of all, he has some graffitis and cases on this page. We're going to ignore stuff like that. We're just going to look at kind of the more major skins. So the first one he has here is an M4A4 Desolate Space Field Tested. Uh, I do think this is a really good skin to just hold on to going forward. I, like, I think this is a really popular one in the community. It's kind of like the new version of the AK Redline. So I think going forward, uh, this is kind of going to be a pretty good investment. And it's Field Tested too, which is one of the more popular ones. So I think this is a great move all overall in terms of an investment. Now next is the AK Redline Field Tested. He's got some Fnatic 2015s on there and some other older 2014 stickers on it. Uh, the Fnatic 2015s are really cool. Uh, those are definitely going to raise in price pretty soon here, so this skin will subsequently raise in price. And I think the Field Tested Redline is always a good option. It's always just a good solid option. Uh, very good, consistent skin. And uh, it's not really a skin that you'll make a ton of money on, but it's definitely a safe bet. And he's just got an unimplied uh, Fnatic Ka uh, Kevity 2015 sticker. Um, depending on how prominent Fnatic is going forward in tournaments and stuff like this, uh, that that sticker could definitely raise in price quite a bit. But right now, it's no, it's it's a pretty good investment. I wouldn't say it's the best uh, possible sticker that you can actually get from the Kevity 2015 stickers, but I think it's still a good option. Next, he has a USP Orion. I think this is great. It's actually a factory new Orion too. That's actually a pretty expensive one uh, with a Virtus Pro 2015 on it and a Mouse Sports Hollow. MLG stickers are going to raise pretty soon here, I think, so uh, that's that's a good option as well. Uh, this is a pretty nice Orion. Uh, I think that going forward, the Orion is obviously going to get more rare, just because it's been out of a case for quite a while. I don't know when it's going to see that like big price hike, but I think that it can see it pretty soon. Um, it hasn't yet seen it. It's kind of been consistent around the $10 range, in, at least in minimal wear condition. So uh, I don't know when it's going to see the price spike, but I think there will definitely be one in the future, kind of like the Desert Eagle Blaze over the past year or so. And then he has another Factory New Orion here uh, with some kind of irrelevant Navi stickers on it at the moment. So, yeah, another good investment just all around. Same thing I just said. He's got a light rail, field tested, no big deal. Just looks like a trade-up contract thing. Uh, he's got an Atheris field test. He's got two Atheris field testeds. Um, I think this skin is kind of a, a weird one going forward as a long-term investment. I think it's more of a short-term one. Uh, if he's planning to sell this at the end of this year or so, I think he can make a decent amount of profit on it. But right now, I think it's kind of just one of those ones that you might want to redistribute your money into. I don't see a huge future going forward to the Atheris. It's kind of just one of those skins that like could raise a couple bucks, but it's not anything crazy. You could definitely put your money into other things that will get you a lot more money uh, for a long-term investment. But in terms of a short-term investment, this is a pretty good one. He has a G3 SG1 High Seas. A uh, decent trade-up item, honestly. It's nothing else, um, you know, further than that. But I think it's a good trade-up option. Power Core, this one's a decent trade-up uh, skin as well. The USB Cortex, this is... You know, kind of nice in the field as a condition. I think it's going to kind of stay consistent at its price. I don't think it's like, in terms of investment at least, I don't think it's like an incredibly good investment that's going to rise like crazy. But I do think that it is a consistent skin at least. He's got an op paw. Again, consistent skin, not anything crazy. I don't know if he has the lucky cat pattern on it or anything like that, but interesting skin. Uh, he has a USP flashback. This one I actually do think has potential. Um, I like, I. I think that this skin specifically, in terms of the flashback series, is better than the M4A1S just because it has the shh on the, uh, on the, on the silencer there, and uh, or the suppressor, I guess. I don't know. People kind of get kind of twisted about whether it's a suppressor or a silencer. But anyway, I think this is a decent one, a de decent skin. It's kind of a weird one, actually, in terms of you know going in as an investment, but I don't think it's bad at all. I think it's a decent skin. He's got like a little chatterbox. I don't think this is going to raise it all in the future. I think it's kind, of, it's kind of one of those skins that's going to be a cheap covert for a while. So I would say this is probably not a great investment. But if he likes it, then he likes it, and it's cool. 
Next he has an M4A4 Dragon King Minimal Wear. Pretty nice skin here. Uh, he doesn't have the factory new one. I would say the factory new one is probably a better option in terms of an investment. The, the lower tier ones like the Minimal Wear and the field tested ones uh, aren't going to rise like crazy. But again, uh, this is going to get more rare as time goes on. And it is, you know, a pretty solid middle of the road investment. Nothing, you know, too crazy about it. You got some more cases and stuff like that. Uh, Stat Trek, Art Revolver, Crimson Web Battle Scarred. He's got an MP2000 Imperial Factory new. Uh, kind of an interesting one here, actually. The P2000 isn't used very often, especially in, like, pro games and stuff like that, so I don't think investing in P2000s is a great idea, but, you know, kind of an interesting one. I haven't seen this skin in quite a while, so, you know, it's interesting. Then he's got a G3 Scavenger. This is kind of another good trade-up skin, and that's about uh, as far as that goes. Um, P250 Nevermore. This is from the newer case. Uh, P250s are decent skins. I don't know... Uh, just exactly how good this skin is actually going to do. It's sort of a basic one. It sort of has a basic pattern, so I'm not sure how great it's going to do. Uh, he's got some stickers. He got he's got some uh, actually pretty good players, as in you know in terms of how well they did these tournaments and stuff like that. Uh, these are decent sticker investments in terms of you know at least in terms of uh, how far signature stickers go. I think these ones are decent. Uh, Breeze is okay, I guess. Twist is definitely a good one, and Electronics definitely a good one. He's got a Flash Gaming sticker from Boston 2018. Totally interesting sticker here. Uh, this one was kind of pretty speculative in the past in terms of how good of an investment this would be. Um, I really don't know where this is going to go, so I'm not going to make any, you know, blanket statement on how good this is as an, as an investment. But it is, you know, decent, so we'll just leave it at that. And then we have some random other skins, looks like just some random trade-up results possibly. Another Imperial, this one's field tested. Um, a Souvenir Lab Rat, uh, CZ Auto Crimson Web, yeah, nothing nothing too really too crazy here. Uh, this is the Fuel Rod, this one's a decent choice actually. Um, I, I actually think this is one of the better P, uh, PP Bison skins. I don't think it's going to be anything crazy in terms of an investment, but it's, it's cool, I guess. So yeah, nothing too crazy on this page really, uh, just a lot of like stuff that probably looks like Trade-up contract results, probably. Uh, this is going to be a rarer skin going forward. It's from the Arms Deal 2 collection, obviously. Um, this is actually going to be rarer in the future, but in terms of being a cool-looking skin, I would say it's probably not such a great one. So I don't think how I don't think this is going to actually be that great of an investment. But you know, it's an interesting one at least, and it can definitely raise in the future. So kind of a interesting little older skin to go for. Same goes for the tear down, tear down. Um, he's got a 5.7 capillary, nothing too crazy there, Crimson Web Field Tested, CZ, yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy on this page, he's got, he's actually got, like, the full collection of candy apples, does he have a Glock candy apple? I don't actually think I saw one of those, I don't think he has a Glock candy apple, yeah, he doesn't have Glock candy apple, so not the full candy apple collection, but that's kind of cool to have at least a few of them. He's got a Glock 18 Blue Fissure, this is kind of an interesting one as well, uh, not a super popular Glock, but it is going to be rarer, obviously, in terms of, you know, it is the Arms Deal 3 collection, it's going to be rarer uh, as time goes on, so there's definitely a chance for something like this. Then we got the Up Worm God Field Tested, this is going to be a very consistent skin, it's just kind of one of those ones that everybody uses and has. Og Sweeper, Galil AR Signal, this one's eh, it's a Danger Zone skin, I don't know how prominent the Galil really is in terms of the meta. It's just kind of there. So yeah, there's kind of a lot of like trade-up contract results or like maybe some stuff they got from cases it looks like. Um, really his first page here is is where most of the uh, the big money is with the factory new Orions and the field tested desolate spaces and stuff like that. This is definitely a good investment portfolio I would say. Like as a whole, I'd say his inventory really well stands as an investment portfolio. I think it's really diverse. He's got a lot of stuff from different cases and older cases. He's he's in for some stuff for in terms of rarity and he's in some stuff in terms of like uh, consistency and desire by the community demand. And uh, he's got some like kind of middle of the road stuff there where it's kind of rare and is also demanded by the community like the Dragon King. And uh, he's got some long-term stuff like the Fnatic uh, 2015 stickers, which, by the way, just quickly right now, just because we're on the topic of 2015 stickers from Katowice, those are actually going up like crazy right now. I know uh, one person just contacted me. He had asked me a while back what uh, Katowice 2015 he should go for, and he was he uh, ended up going for a Flipside Tactics one, which I said was a pretty good choice. And uh, the Flipside, Flipside Tactics sticker actually went up to about $75 today. And uh, it was about 45 when he went in on it, which was a couple weeks ago. So uh, that was kind of around the time that I made my video on Katowice 2015 stickers. And I had a lot of people asking me what to invest in. And yeah, I was right. I just want to point that out. I may not have been super right about the summer sale, but I was definitely right about Katowice 2015 stickers being a great investment going forward. 
and um, yeah, they're doing really good right now. So if you want to get one of these, I definitely go for the non-hollow ones that are unapplied, and you can make some money off of those. Um, but yeah, as in terms of an overall investment inventory, I think he's got a really good uh, selection here. He's got multiple of some of the skins as well, which is always a good choice because the more you have of one skin, the more it'll raise in price. Um, he's got some nice applied ones as well with his Virtus Pro sticker there, and this one with the double fanatics on it. And um, he's also got, you know, the Atheruses, which are good. He's got uh, the Dragon King, which is good. So yeah, just a just a decent kind of like not I wouldn't say budget investment, but it's like one of those middle or middle of the road like decently solid inventories. So in terms of a rating for this inventory, I'm gonna have to go for probably roughly a 7.5 out of 10. Um, I think you could go for more Atheruses possibly. I know I didn't say that was like that great of an investment, but it is a very consistent one and it's more of a short term one so it is okay to go in for multiple of them in uh, if you're going to be selling them in the short term and not really holding on for the long term. Um, as for the Orions, I think it's fine at 2 right now. Uh, Desolate Space I think is fine at 1. Redline I think is fine at 1. He could definitely go in and probably another Dragon King. That would be a decent choice going forward for him. And uh, other than that, yeah, I think that about does it for his inventory. Um, if I were to say anything else, I'd say probably go for more of these Katavici 2015 non hollows unimplied, uh, the Fanatic ones, the Vox ones, you know, those kind of unapplied ones, Virtus Pro ones. All of those are, are pretty good. And I'd say probably go in for those pretty soon here because I think they're going to see another big rise in price. And that's going to probably do it for this inventory, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and tell me in the comments what you enjoyed about the video specifically or tell me what you didn't like about this video and what I can improve for the future. Make sure you go check out our Discord server. There's a link in the description below. Also, I have a Twitter account, also link in the description below. So go check those both out. And uh, hopefully you guys have a good day and or night or wherever you are. Obviously, I have, a, I have viewers from kind of all around the world, I've noticed. But uh, yeah, thanks for 200 subscribers. That's really cool as well. And I will see you guys in the future. So yeah guys, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave me a like and tell me what you enjoyed about it. And uh, that's basically all I have to say. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe. And as always, your patronage is greatly appreciated. I will see you all next time. Peace out and have a good day or night or wherever you are. Have a good whatever you are having. Yeah. Peace.